Hello and welcome to my channel Breaking the Barriers. I welcome you all and today I am going to cover another literature topic of class 11th CBSC literature that is Discovering Tooth, the saga continues. So I am going to cover the intro, the vocab and the summary of the chapter in this video. And this chapter is a little bit complicated and high end vocab is used in this chapter. But I have sorted everything out in this video and I know and I hope that after watching this video, you will be able to understand the chapter in a very effective way. If you like my video, please subscribe the channel and hit the like button under the video. It will motivate me to make more such videos for you all. So first introduction written by A.R. Williams. This chapter is about the last heir of the powerful Pharaoh dynasty Tutankhamun who died when he was a teenager after ruling for nine years. So the great Egyptian dynasty, Pharaoh, Pharaoh means the king in Egypt, king is termed as Pharaoh. So the Pharaoh, a Pharaoh of the Egyptian royal family, Tutankhamun, he was a teenager when he died and the mysteries of his death are being revealed in this chapter. He died in a mysterious way. This chapter throws light over all the possible mysteries. What could be the reason for his death? The curse, where his tomb lies, his life and ultimately his death. Egyptians believe that there is life after death. Means after life. Marne ke baad bhi ek aur zindagi hoti hai. Wo Egyptians believe karte the. And that is the reason why the pharaoh was buried with wealth and everyday use items. So this pharaoh was buried inside the tomb with all the wealth and the items that you need every day in your life. So that he, when he is risen in his afterlife, then he could use those items. This is what the Egyptians believed. Down where I am pointing the cursor, you see here, this is the image of Tutankhamun with the computer technology and CT scan. The scientists and the researchers have come up with this image of Tutankhamun with the help of his mummy. He was mummified. And this here, this person in black and white where I am pointing the cursor is Howard Carter, the archaeologist who searched the tomb of Tutankhamun. Okay. See, I have uh, added some vocab sheets in this video. And you can see all these vocab sheets are under the heading vocabulary and I have also numbered these meanings. These are all the difficult word mean meanings which are there in the chapter when you read the chapter from your NCRT book. Okay, so before reading the chapter from your NCRT book, you go through these vocab sheets. And if you want, you can also note these uh, vocab uh, words in your notebook. It will help you when you will read the chapter, when you are understanding the chapter and it will help you when you are preparing for the exams. So I have four sheets of vocab over here. All the words, difficult words which are there in the NCRT book related to this chapter, I have covered them in this vocab sheet. Okay. Like 18 words are here. Then in this second sheet, I have word from 19 number to 36 number. Then in for, uh, third sheet, I have word number 37 to 54 and chisel. I have also mentioned an image of a chisel. See this 46 number word where I'm pointing the cursor chiseled away to cut something with a chisel. It is important. We will understand it in the further part of the video. And uh, then here 55 to 71 and here the last vocab sheet 72 to 76. You can look at all these vocab sheets you can pause the video when you look at that particular vocab sheet and you can note down the vocabulary okay once again subscribe the channel and like the video because these type of videos require a lot of efforts if you appreciate my work it will motivate me okay so you can uh, pause every slide of the vocab sheet and you can note down the uh, vocab now i come to the summary part discovering to the saga continues summary the Discovering Tut the Saga Continues is a chapter which gives us an in-depth insight or details about Tutankhamun, the last ruler of the powerful pharaoh dynasty in Egypt. He was a teenager when he died and his death was a mystery. Means no specific reason for his death is clear up till now. 
research is still going on in this thing. Archaeologists and all are still finding out about the reason. Some speculated. Speculated means andaza laga rahe hai. They have no proof of this thing. Speculated that he was murdered. He ruled in Egypt and its empire for centuries. 1922, his tomb was discovered by Howard Carter, a British archaeologist. Howard Carter image I have already shared with you in the first slide. After 80 years, means 1922 say 80 years Jollo. Okay, after 80 years, he was taken from his resting place for city scan, which offers to solve the mystery of his life and death by creating a forensic reconstruction. 1922 technology was not that advanced that you could perform a city scan on a mummy. But after 80 years, we have achieved the technology. So we took out the mummy from the tomb and we put it in a city scan machine to find the hidden secrets of the past. And you see this word over here where I'm pointing the cursor forensic reconstruction. Through the city scan, we reconstructed the prints, means reconstructed an image of how the prints might look. On internet or in the first slide that I shared with you, the image of Tutankhamun which is there, it is a result of forensic reconstruction only, the city scan and all the technology. Tut's father or grandfather, Aminotab III, was a very powerful pharaoh. Now, it is not clear when we read the history that Aminotab III was the father or the grandfather. That is why it is mentioned father or grandfather, who ruled over a period of 40 years. His son, Aminotab IV, thrived him and began the strangest period in the history of Egypt. Aminotab IV is considered as a, a king who was quite negative in his approach towards history. He promoted the worship of Aten, the sun disk. Now, Egyptians have various gods, Orion, Aten, Amun. So, this Aminotab IV started or promoted the worship of Aten. He changed his name from Aminotab IV to Eknathen, meaning servant of the Aten. He also moved the religious capital from Thebes to the new city of Eknathen called Amarna. Religious capital, you all know, kisi bhi religion ka ek capital prominent place jaha pe sab log jate hain. Jaise ke Muslims jate hain, Makkah, Madina, Christians jate hain, Jerusalem, usi tarah. So he shifted the religious capital from Thebes to the new city of Akhnathin and he called it Amarna. Next. Further, he attacked Amun, a god, smashed his images and closed his temples. Now he promoted the worship of Aten, the sun god and the god who was up till now worshipped by the people Amun. He smashed the images and closed the temples of Amun because he wanted everybody to worship Aten. Another mysterious ruler succeeded him who died soon. Means no, not much information is available about him. Next, Tutankhamun, also known as Tut, sat on the throne and ruled for nine years. He worshipped God Amun in the old ways. After this uh, mysterious ruler, Tutankhamun, the main character of our chapter, came to rule. And he again started the old practices of worshipping God Amun. Aminotap IV or Akhnathen promoted Aten and he destroyed the images and temples of Amun. But Tutankhamun reconstructed and he again implemented the old ways. And now again he started worshipping Amun. However, he died mysteriously. When Tut's mummified body was discovered by Howard Carter, he was laid with lots of gold, wealth and everyday items. Now with the mummy, there was a lot of gold and everyday items like Bronze razor, games, clothes, cases of food and wine. Why was all these things over there? Because I told you that Egyptians believed in afterlife. That is why they mummified the body to preserve it. Carter discovered him after searching for many years. After researching on the treasures, he decided to investigate his three nested coffin. There were three nested gold coffin, means a coffin bhot bada. Usko open karo, uske andar ek second coffin. Us second coffin ko open karo, to uske andar ek third coffin. Third coffin ko open karo ge, to uske andar Tutankhamun ki mummy rakhi hui thi. Okay, so Tutankhamun was buried in a three nested coffin. And all these three nested coffins were made out of pure gold. Some part of Tut's treasure in the tomb were already looted. Somebody who discovered the tomb, they uh, tried to loot away the treasure, stole away the treasure. His tomb was rock cut 26 
फीट अंडरग्राउंड ओके सो सपोज दिस इज द ग्राउंड लेवल तो ट्वेंटी सिक्स फीट अंडरग्राउंड जमीन के छब्बीस फीट नीचे उसका टूम था विच हैड वॉल पेंटिंग्स ऑन द आउटर कॉफिन तुथ्स फेस वॉज गिल्डेड गिल्डेड मीन्स डेकोरेटेड विथ गोल्ड एंड ऑल ओके ऑन द कॉफिन इन द फर्स्ट कॉफिन ही फाउंड द गार्लैंड ऑफ ऑलिव लोटस पेटल्स एंड कॉर्नफ्लावर्स मीन्स वेन दे बरेड द किंग दे डेकोरेटेड द टूम्स विथ फ्लावर्स एंड ऑल एंड दोज फ्लावर्स एंड ऑल ऑल दो ड्राइड अप एंड यू नो कंप्लीटली डी कम्पोज बट स्टिल दे वर द एसेंस वॉज देयर विच केम आउट ड्यूरिंग द रिसर्च एंड द फॉरेंसिक सर्च and uh, it showed that he was buried in the months of march and april because in egypt olive lotus uh, lotus petals and corn flowers available in march and april the third and final coffin put carter into trouble the resins resins means the paste the spices the liquid and everything which was used to uh, you know mummify the body those resins uh used to cement to to the bottom of the solid gold coffin were hardened enough making it impossible to move so that those resins have uh, hardened and they have solidified and due to them the mummy is stuck to the base of the coffin and it is impossible to take the mummy out of the coffin because of those resins paste and all next he put the coffin in the sun for several hours in hope for the resins to loosen up but it didn't work so first howard carter thought that maybe some sunlight and heat will help us to melt the resins and then we can take the body out but it didn't help finally he removed the resins with the help of chisel and hammer chisel i shared the image of you in the vocab slide chisel is a tool which you use with the hammer you use chisel and hammer to you know break the resin or break the wall or anything so with the help of chisel and hammer he finally broke the resins and all and carter felt he didn't have any other choice as it had as if he hadn't cut the mummy from limb to limb thieves would have looted the gold so he cut the mummy from limb to limb means from joint to joint he separated the mummy the head separately the chest portion separately the arms separately he chiseled and uh, you know uh, broke away the resins and he took out the mummy from the tomb his men first remove his head then they cut off every joint after removing the body parts they placed it on the layer of sand in a wooden box and put it in the original place so after it the mummy is in various parts then what they do did was they took a wooden box filled the wooden box with sand and they kept the mummy in that wooden box in 1968 the mummy was x-rayed by an anatomy professor revealed few facts his breast bone and the front ribs were missing so in 1968 when an anatomy professor anatomy means a study of a part of science where we study human body and its parts so he found that breast bone and front ribs are missing later on 5th january 2009 tooth was taken for ct scan computer tomography full form which takes hundreds of x rays and creates a three dimensional image so through that they created a three dimensional image, a 3d image with hundreds of x rays the night of the scan the workman carried his body from the tomb in the box so a truck was there and in the truck there was the city scan machine which was parked near the tomb and the workman went inside the tomb and they carried the coffin or the wooden box out of the tomb they climbed the ramp and the stairs and lifted it on the hydraulic trailer trailer means the truck hydraulic means through lift they raised the box to the height of the trailer and they put the machine in the Oh, uh, sorry. They put the coffin in the scanner. The scanner stopped working, which paused the procedure. Why the scanner stopped working? Because there was some sand which got stuck in the scanner. But they used a pair of spare fans. The the scan was finally done. After three hours, his body was taken back to his tomb, where his body is resting in peace. So, this is the explanation of the summary. so i hope uh, the chapter is clear to you with the help of the video if you still have any doubts related to the chapter or the video or the explanation you can mention them in the comment section and i will definitely answer you support the channel subscribe the channel like the video it's bye for now happy learning